All too often in this day and age of media, we constantly hear that we need to have more people represented in the media that we're engaging with, whether that be video games, movies, television, comic books, and so on. And I would argue if you feel that you should be represented in a video game, you're probably a failure as a person. Dragon Age The Veil Guard is definitely the newest topic of conversation lately, especially with IGN's review and going over the character customization. What was so interesting about that is a lot of people talk about, well, now you can really make a cool character, which we've seen better character customization in previous video games like, you know, Dragon's Dogma 1 and 2 and other games out there. But one of the pieces of this conversation that constantly comes up is people say, oh, well, we want people to be able to build their character and really represent themselves in a video game. Now, the issue with that, the one thing that I've always had an issue with is the fact that when media started representing the audience, the problem was it started failing, just like the failed people. What do you mean by that? Well, oftentimes in storytelling, we would read stories that told us stories of grand adventure, tales that we may not ever be able to do. Look at Halo, Master Chief, or even Doom Guy. You know, obviously the power fantasy of going and fighting a great evil and trying to protect the human race. However, in the modern day, it seems that we have no motivation to become more than what we are in that day. It seems that most people will look at you and they say, well, I am the way that I am, and if you're not okay with that, get used to it. And I look at them and I say, well, I'm sorry that you've given up on yourself because if you are who you are and you're comfortable with that, maybe, just maybe, you should really start doing some self-reflection. You see, this is the ultimate crux of the situation when it comes to the modern audience, right? Having to represent everybody, having to represent yourself, and not presenting the ideal of what we can be, what we should strive to be. Spider-Man never reached the heights of his popularity because he was just the everyman that represented everybody. No. He was kind of a stand-in for young men, showing, hey, look, he can go to high school, he can get good grades, but also at the end of the day, he never gives up. He never gets put down. And if he can deal with the stuff he deals with, you can deal with the things that you deal with. How about a character who has inspired millions over the, over the world? Billions, probably. Son Goku. Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, GT, whatever. Super, doesn't matter. Goku. The man, the myth. The legend, God rest, Akira Toriyama. A guy who was jacked and got other people to say, you know what, when I was in high school, I was a fat, chubby kid. But I saw that Goku could conquer anything in front of him. He would never give up and he would always find a way. And because of that, I am now living a healthy lifestyle. You see characters like Superman that people say, man, it's just unrealistic to be like Superman. But the idea was that Superman was a goal that you could go for. Helping somebody in need, whether it was getting a cat out of a tree or being there for a young woman who was ready to jump off of a building. You see, it's the idealism in becoming what you are not that storytelling used to have that made so many video games so great. Going back to the original Dragon Age Origins, I'm actually playing that right now. No, I'm not streaming it. I'm just playing it privately myself. But the one thing is, is yeah, I could go through and spend time, try to get this character to, to be me. But what I really want to do is go through and play this game and see a character that might give me some inspiration to become something more. And obviously for morbid curiosity's sake, we also have video games that let us do the illicit, the illegal, the, the taboo, the things we're not supposed to. You think of Grand Theft Auto, think of Need for Speed, one of my favorite games that they had to make sure you knew street leaguing was illegal, street racing was illegal, wow, words. And we shouldn't do that. But it took you out of reality. It showed you something that wasn't yourself. It wasn't your day to day. It wasn't the I am who I am, get used to it. It was the, hey, do you wanna see something else? Do you wanna see someone else, who you could be? It's why grand stories back in the day oftentimes took people on a journey. Look at Journey to the West, which Black Myth Wukong was on. It was a monkey, a magical monkey, but one that strove so hard to reach immortality, that he gained it and then was elevated to, I believe, Buddhahood? Bo to a Buddha? Because there are many. There's not just one Buddha, there are many. A 
creature who had undeniable determination to achieve his goals that not even the gods could stop him. You see, that's the problem with the modern audience is that instead of saying, I am going to rise to a new level of height in my life and I am going to show society what we should be, I am going to become something transcendent to what humans thought they could be. Whether it's, I'm going to be the best at sports, or I'm going to be the best artist. I'm going to be the best musician. I'm going to be the best game developer. I am going to elevate this medium so much because of my sheer will and determination. And instead, we see these people saying, I am who I am. Get used to it. I offer you nothing new. I offer you nothing more. What you see with me is what you're going to get forever. And you're not allowed to not like it. In fact, you have to like it. In fact, not only do you have to like it, you have to bend your lifestyle around it. Your companies, your corporations, they must kowtow to me not wanting to be better. You see, because I have no drive in my life, so I must drag you down with me. Why? Because I've given up on myself. It's a really sad state of affairs when in the modern world, we have so many people out there trying to call people any number of ists and phobes and isms simply because we're just asking for a higher quality of human being. We don't care about the genitalia between somebody's legs. We don't care about how you feel about yourself. We care about seeing something that motivates us to become more. We want to see something that fills us up with so much ambition and vigor. We chase after it. But yet instead, the modern audience says that ambition and vigor are not something that we need to have. No, you need, you need to feel guilty for who you are. Because you think that the life that you live, how can you feel happy about living that life when somebody else doesn't live that life? How can you feel happy about who you are when somebody else feels bad about who they are? And the fact of the matter is, is because you're no longer allowed to feel pride in your own accomplishments. You're no longer allowed to look to the stars. And honestly, this is the crux of this situation. This is why the modern audience rubs so many people the wrong way. It's because they offer nothing to us to strive for. They offer us no motivation, no ambition. They give us no tales of becoming greater. And this right here is why so many people have a problem with modern representation in video games, modern representation in media. Because I live in this world. I see this world. I know what it is. And honestly, sometimes the world wants to kick you down and it really demoralizes you. And instead, instead of being demoralized, we want something that gives us hope for the future, gives us hope in something that we can achieve, that gives us hope for the next generation, that not only gives us hope for all of that, but just gives us hope to get through our day. And because these people have given up on hope, they've given up on themselves, and they have ultimately become failures of human beings, misery loves company, and it's time to drag you down so they have company. Ultimately, we need to get back to telling stories about great men doing great things. Or if you're the type of person that likes to see women represented in games, maybe get back to things like Tomb Raider, you know, Lara Croft, Ripley, you know, women that could throw down, you know, showing the ideal of what a woman could be and not the failure of the women that you are putting into the modern media. Ultimately, Dragon Age of the Veilguard 
with their character customization and a lot of the political leanings in there, there are specific choices you can make that are abhorrent and should not be in a character creator. They have given up. They've given up on humanity. They've given up on ambition. And they've become comfortable with who they are. Now, I'm not saying that you need to be a radically different person every day. And I'm not even saying that you're going to achieve your goals every day. I'm not even saying that you're going to go to bed every night a better person than the person that you woke up as. But that's at least what you should strive for. That's at least the thing that you should reach for. Because at least trying to be someone better is better than giving up. It's better than walking away. It's better from pursue, it's better to pursue happiness than accept despair. And honestly, the modern audience that these people keep chasing for don't understand that. Because the entertainment media is kowtowing to people who have just given up on becoming more. So don't give up. Don't give up on becoming more. Don't give up on your goals. Don't give up. And don't be happy with your current state. Because once you do that, you become complacent and you become less and less and bitter and depressed. Rise to the challenge. Find the media out there that motivates you. Never ask somebody to kowtow to your level. Raise the bar, raise your own level. Don't become the modern audience. Don't become a failure. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. You guys like what I had to say here? comment down below. I look forward to reading all of those on my next Sunday Coffee live stream. And if you guys want to see what else I talk about, here are some videos right here. And as always, until next time, cheers, everybody.